story to tell. During the war in Vietnam, in which the U.S. was involved, and they relied on the helicopter as never before. The UH-1A helicopter was the main warfare vehicle of the U.S. Army at that time, associated with the helicopter warfare tactic. UH-1 Huey became a popular symbol of the American war in Vietnam. The HU helicopter, which stands for Huey, is a military utility helicopter built by Bell to meet the requirements of the U.S. military since 1952. It was later redesignated as the UH-1. UH-1 made its maiden flight on October 20, 1956 tested in 1959 and mass-produced in 1962. The last was produced in 1976. In total, about 16,000 helicopters were built. The UH-1 utility helicopter has a crew of 1 to 4 people. 7.4 meters long, 4.39 meters high. It has an empty weight of 2.37 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of 4.3 tons. The helicopter has a top speed of 217 kilometers per hour, a range of 507 kilometers, and a service ceiling of 5,910 meters. The rear cabin can accommodate up to 14 people, or 6 stretchers, or equivalent cargo. In 1964, the U.S. added UH-1B and UH-1D variants. Vietnam Battlefield was the first application and test site of the U.S. Army's helicopter war tactic. In total, the U.S. equipped the Saigon government with 914 UH-1s and 7,013 for the U.S. Army. The UH-1s were used to transport troops, cargo, ambulance, and ground attack. The first UH-1As were fitted to the 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions, the dominant units of the U.S. Army. It can be said that the UH-1 set a milestone for the creation of the Air Convery Force of the United States. Air Convery used helicopters as vehicles of movements and combat with extremely high maneuverability. The core of the air recovery was the UH-1 helicopters. H could carry a platen with full equipment. The Vietnam War was also where the US used the most UH-1 helicopters, with 4,000 in South Vietnam at peak when the new UH-1A appeared, the South Vietnamese Liberation Army did not have many effective weapons and experience in dealing with this new U.S. weapon. It caused a lot of difficulties for the opponent on the battlefield. Over time, the Liberation Army found out the weaknesses of this helicopter. Their plan was ambush tactic. They patiently waited for the American helicopters to fall low 
to hunt for our targets or to land its troops. Then they opened fire. Just a few shots hit the dangerous spot. It could destroy a UH-1 costing million dollars. The first major failure of the helicopter war tactic was the Battle of Abbaq on January 2, 1963. With early rifles and submachines, the South Vietnamese Liberation Army destroyed five UH-1s. On September 13, 1968, with two 12.7mm guns and 40 bullets, the Liberation Army shot down two helicopters, one of which was carrying Major General Keith Lincoln Ware, commander of the 1st Infantry Division, the Big Red One. During Operation Lam Sơn 719, also known in Vietnam as 9th Route Southern Laos Campaign, in 1971, a large number of 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine guns in preparation for a transfer into the south were used to deal with UH-1 low-flying helicopters. Due to the foggy weather in the west Chung Sơn Mountains, the UH-1s had to lower their altitude to land. It immediately became a good prey for the anti-aircraft fire of the North Vietnam. According to some statistics, during the Operation Lam Sơn 719, 555 aircraft of the South Vietnamese and American forces were shot down, most of which were UH-1 helicopters. Entering 1972, the arrival of the 9K-32 Stella shoulder fire surface to emissions, known in Vietnam as the A-72, put an end to the UH-1 helicopters. Before the South was completely lost, the UH-1 could only be used for troop transport, but rarely in combat. According to U.S. statistics, a total of 4,200 UH-1 helicopters were shot down, destroyed, or confiscated by the Liberation Army. The total number of U.S. UH-1 pilots killed was 1,151, accounting for 44.4% of the U.S. helicopter pilots killed in Vietnam. During the war in Vietnam, up to 18 U.S. generals were killed, of which 11 were killed while sitting on UH-1 helicopters. Seven people died while in helicopters, and five died while directly operating the UH-1. My video about the fate of the UH-1 helicopter and the helicopter warfare during the Vietnam War ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.